All right, coming up next, the wait is over for this lightweight championship fight between Demetrius Johnson and John Lineker. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here he is, the reigning defending on this world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Johnson is one year the elder. Lineker will have a one-inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Paranagua, Parana, Brazil, presenting the challenger, John Hands of Stone Lineker. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Demetrius! Mighty Mouse Johnson! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. And protect yourself for that time. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my decision. Oh, 
Oh, nice strike landed there by DJ. Still nice body to keep lands. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jab. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him. Here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase the mission. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He thing. better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Lineker gets back up again. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big call for punch lands. Now he'll get back to range. Johnson gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. And follows up with another one. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight. And there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot. And he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back into space where he's having the most success. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now we're going. Taken down by Johnson. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight to the corner. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. his feet. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Lynch. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Johnson gets the tie clinch here. Big and kick. Oh, nice jab, counter for him there. Just misses with the right. 90 seconds to go. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. Oh! Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Beautiful leg kick throws. Great punch, man, with so much power. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Stuff the takedown, no problem. Cut. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh. Wow. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. He might get a finish here. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up.
out there and let's do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns. You ready to fight? Yeah. Ready. Second round on the way. Shot by Johnson to catch the leg kick. Effective punch there by Johnson. There's no tell on that leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Single collar tie now. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Big punch lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. You got to check these low leg kicks. Now he's got the Muay Thai clock. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Back and forth we go! Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Pretty good right hand. Johnson's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. That is a thudding leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Beautiful level change. Easy to take. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by DJ. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. And still!
right, so there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things that could plague him tonight. Looked as good as ever for my money. He looked as good as he's ever looked inside the